you know, when we, when we start, uh, like when we were doing Amazing Grace, we just kind of played it a couple times. Yeah. And our chords were kind of all over the well, place. Exactly, <laughs> because I needed, to, I needed to hear what, what chords you play yeah. for the melodies. That's your interpretation. That's right. Uh, I might have a different set of chords, you mm-hmm. know. So I need to hear what you're playing so I can decide where, how I'm going to play the melody and what works, you know, like the, uh, uh, in, in Amazing Grace, I do that, you didn't, right? Yes. So, uh, so when I was improvising, I went, I did the, yeah, the uh, diminished the run and it there, didn't yeah. work. Yeah. So I said, stop, um, <laughs> I, I won't do that again, you know, because you don't do that. that, that yeah. yeah, so, you know, uh, first of all, working out, uh, um, arrangements, um, especially for us, is good. Uh, I'll tell you why. I'm gonna start with the basics. The basics is he's playing a nylon string guitar and I'm playing steel string. We got two different voices. sounds, two yeah. different voices, and so now we've got to find a way of making them gel together and make them sound beautiful. So I always have to be really listening to John to try to match that sound and make it gel to, together. You know, and that's right. And sometimes you do that by which part of the neck we're playing in. If we spread out, then we can, you can tell us apart. Yeah. But every now and then if we come together, you've got to be more careful with making the two sounds yeah. still stand on their own, but also, you know, blend in a certain way. Yeah. So that like, thing of where you are on the neck is a big deal. Can we give an example here? Play it where you take the melody in He Ain't Heavy. Okay, you ready? Yeah. One, two... Three, four, one. Beautiful. You hear how he's he had like a wide sound there when he played that chord and i had to play really gently in order for our sound to gel together if i played harder than that you would be saying oh can you turn him down a bit it's just <laughs> not working and and it just wouldn't work you've got to be that sensitive to the other player's touch and the other player's sound this is so important when you're making music together yeah that and then if if the thing feels like it's about to to really grow, to you know, like that, then yeah. dynamics become an important part. So we have to feel that happen together. Exactly. And uh, make yeah. it move. You know, we only just played like four bars of the song, but I already got chills <laughs> be- because yes. we went into our zone being that's us. All, and that's, that's what right. I'm talking about. Yeah. When we play something like that together that we've played for a while and we understand the dynamic of it, it has such feeling that it will affect you, uh, and it'll affect you in a, a beautiful way, and that's the power of I think so. Of, uh, when, you're, music. when you get caught up in something like that, you got to also remember to pay attention. <laughs> so that yeah, I know. You don't let it Actually, carry you away. Let me tell you, sometimes he, when he's got his eyes closed, I'm going, I hope he remembers there's something coming up that he's got to do, because <laughs> he's so in the zone, and it's so easy to do. Oh, yeah. you, you'd lose yourself yeah. in, in the music, you know? So every now and again, I have to give him a little nudge, you know? Mm-hmm. <clears throat>